Rape suspects in Okwaibom State may face life imprisonment following the signing of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Law 2020 by Governor Udom Emmanuel. The law empowers judges to hand down life imprisonment to anyone convicted of rape in the state. Speaking after the bill was assented to by the Governor, Commissioner for Agriculture and Women Affairs, Glory Edit, described the law as a sledgehammer for rapists and perpetrators of gender-based violence. Also speaking, the State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Uemidimo Uwoko, said the law also provides 14 years imprisonment for perpetrators of gender-based violence and any kind of sexual violence other than rape. The Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice of Kwaibom State, Uemidimo Uwoko, joins us now for a conversation on this development. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Can you give us uh, more insight to this uh, new law? Well, um, I'm happy to announce that um, the Aquaibum State uh, government has uh, joined the uh, few states that have already passed the Violence Against Persons uh, law, and His Excellency the Governor assented to it. Uh, and so we, we are ready for the full fledge of the war against uh, rape and other kinds of uh, violence against uh, persons, particularly the women in our society. I, I have um, the law even with me here. Uh, uh, I can uh, display it to you. This is the Violence Against Persons Law of Akwai State 2020, assented to it by His Excellency, the governor. Um, I want to say that uh, this law is an instrument that would uh, we wield it at the strongest strength to bring all those who are caught uh, crossing the red line uh, of the law against uh, uh, women and even men. Um, we know we, this law has made provision for violence against men and rape of men also. Uh, so it's a departure from what we had in the criminal code, uh, in which case the issue of rape was limited to All rape right. against uh, women. Let now there is also rape against men. And uh, the law is uh, prepared to address it equally. All right, let me quickly interject and ask, because there's been some concerns over the fact that some states took a while, some are still not, uh, have still not domesticated uh, this law. Why did it take so long uh, for Aquarium states to uh, toll this part? Well, um, uh, I used to tell people that uh, law is not a love letter. Every piece of legislation is supposed to be taken, uh, put through the crucible of a proper uh, enactment so that all interest groups will be taken into, all uh, competing interests will be taken into consideration before a law is passed. Uh, in the case of Aquaibum Boom State, I know that uh, we could even have uh, passed it a bit earlier, but there were concerns about the, the level of uh, punishment uh, that were prescribed in the initial proposal. Uh, and uh, I do recall that uh, in my, one of my conversations with my, the governor of Aquaibum Boom State, my boss, he said, no, he didn't want uh, some of the uh, penalties that were too meager. And he insisted that uh, we should go back to the House of Assembly and uh, extract uh, deeper and more crucial uh, this, uh, punishments for certain offenses, for certain aspects of the offenses. And so it was necessary that uh, we needed to get it through. And then all the uh, interest groups uh, we had, uh, particularly the office of the wife of the, uh, of the governor, uh, through her pet project, uh, Ferep worked very hard. We had Nawaj, uh, the Nigerian Women of Union journalists. We had uh, the several women organizations and other civil society organizations coming together. And what we now have as the Violence Against Persons Law in Aquaibum State meets the test and the demands and expectations of every sector of the society. All right, in, in the interest of time, so aside the signing into law of the VAP, um, what other measures are the, is, is rather the government taking to protect women and girls from predators? Yeah, there is a lot of campaign. You know, the one of the major setbacks, like uh, even this morning, I was treating uh, one of the files, and uh, one of the things I had, which uh, I have already given a strong instruction against it is, I was treating a, a, a rep file, and I had a letter uh, um, seeking to withdraw the, uh, the the allegation. And that is something we stand against in Aquaibum State. So there is a lot of campaign going on at all levels, encouraging people who are victims of rep 
or families of drug victims or such harassment and violence against persons to report and not to come back to seek to withdraw such complaints. And again, the part of the campaign is to enlighten the women who are victims, not to go and destroy the pieces of evidence that are visited on them before they, they report the matter to the police or visit the doctor to have a medical report, which sometimes becomes very essential in a, a securing conviction against the vict against uh, the culprits. So these are part of the campaigns that are going on through the churches, through the market, women, uh, market uh, organizations, and other areas. So we are trying to, as much as possible to ensure that the women become conscious of what they should do, so that particularly evidence of rape and violence is not destroyed before the matter is taken into investigation. Honorable Commissioner, thank you very much for your time and the enlightenment provided. Thank you very much.